right-handed batter's box. In fact, I'm on the line. I'm directly on the line between the right-handed batter's box and home plate. So just a few inches from being directly behind home plate. This pitch is hit to center field. Center fielder over to his left. About eight steps and makes the catch for out number two. That's the first pitch to Sam Watson. And so Watson lines out to center. Two up and two down for the Bulldogs here in the top half of the first inning. Batter now is Dylan Davenport. Davenport slightly open stance at the plate. This pitch is low for ball one. Davenport will be starting Friday night, undoubtedly. Two senior starters here, two senior right-handed starters. Here's the 1-0. This pitch is lined in the left field. That's going to be down for a base hit. And remember, it is a grass outfield, so, you know, we might see some strange hops. And I, I guarantee you, if you did not know for sure it's a grass outfield, all you have to do is look, say, down the right field line. Look at the foul line going from the infield to the fence, the outfield fence, and you can see it both rise and fall. So this is a, and you can see the same thing on the left field, but more pronounced on the right field side. Some rise, a rise and a fall, a rise and a fall. A grass outfield here. Okay, Cale Preston up now with Davenport on first with two down. Bulldogs facing a right-hander tonight. Here's the pitch to Preston. Low for ball one. This is Caden, Caden Rhodes. The starting pitcher against Carthage about three weeks ago in Carthage was Landon Bartell. Here's the stretch by Rhodes. He goes to first, and the runner is back in there. And you can see quickly that Rhodes, for a right-hander, has a real quick move to first base. Pitching from the third base side of the rubber, the far third base side of the rubber. That pitch is high and outside. One and one the count. If you're listening to us on 104.3 FM, a reminder, you can watch this by going to EastTexasToday.com. This pitch is a strike over the outside corner. One and two now on Preston. And if you followed Bull, Bulldog baseball last year and this year, you know this is an outstanding bunter. Probably won't bunt now with two strikes on him, though. Here's a 2-1 pitch high. And the count now is 3-1. and one. Three and one on Kale Preston with Davenport at first and two down. And that's outside ball four. So Preston on first now and Davenport moves up to second. And the batter is Brooke Soap, the sophomore catcher. Soap with a straightaway stance at the plate. Rhodes looks back at second, comes to the plate. This one is fouled off down the left field line. Want to know the count on Soap. Again, the starting pitcher for the Spring Hill Panthers, Caden Rhodes. Spring Hill 7-0 in district play. Six of those seven were run reel wins for, for Spring Hill. I'll give you the scores here in, in a little bit. All right, Rhodes looked back at second. 0-1 to Soap. Here's the 0-1. This one popped up down the left field line. Left fielder going over in foul ground, and he cannot get it, but it's a foul ball. So the count now is 1-1. One 320 down the line, left field line, 315 to the right field fence at the line, and 375 to straightaway center. 
So this ballpark is smaller than Bulldog Park, which is 320 down both lines, 380 to direct to uh, straightaway center field, and 394 to the alleys. They don't have an indication in the alleys here of, of, the, of how deep the uh, fence is. 0-2 now on Soap. That one swung on and missed, and Soap is struck out. So Soap goes down swinging for out number three. So for the Bulldogs in the top of the first, no runs a hit, no errors, and one left. We go now to the bottom of one. No score here at Spring Hill. We'll be back after this 90-second break. Escogiendo el mejor proveedor médica puede ser difícil. Hope Community Medicine está aquí por ti. Si ocupa ayuda médica, ginecólogo o salud conductal, es nuestra misión proveer acceso de alta calidad de salud a pesar de su habilidad de pagar. Tenemos cinco clínicas en Carthage Center, Tenojo y San Agustín para poder servir mejor a usted y su familia. 903-690-8395. It's a powerful storm, and the power is off, completely off. House after house in the dark, each one plunging a family into uncertainty and fear. One dark house after another, and another, and wait, is that light? It is, and there's one reason for it. The owners of this home have a permanently installed backup power generator from Briggs & Stratton. Whole house. We all like to save money, and State Farm can help with discounts. When you combine your car insurance with your State Farm homeowner's insurance, you get big savings. So talk to me, Agent Tate Barber, and experience the good neighbor service that has made us America's number one insurance company. Together, we can help you make sure you get the discount you deserve. No policy with State Farm? No problem. Call me, Agent Tate Barber, at 903-693-7555 or stop by my office, 1502 West Panola, directly across the street from McDonald's, to find out how much a multi-line discount can save. Save you. We go to the bottom of the first here at Spring Hill High School. No score between Spring Hill and Carthage. Uh, senior right-hander Matthew Smith pitching tonight. He has a record for the season of four wins and three losses in 47 innings. He has given up 28 hits, 11 runs, and 47 innings struck out 45 batters. He has walked only eight, so his strikeout-to-walk ratio is over five and a half which is very good. He's hit a couple of batters, and his ERA is 1.043. Outstanding ERA. Carthage this year playing seven district games, and they have yet to use a relief pitcher. Seven complete games for the Bulldogs in those seven district contests. So in other words, the bottom line is the pitching has just been outstanding. Okay, here's the defensive alignment for the Carthage Bulldogs. Incidentally, in the first inning, 17 pitches for Rhodes. Matthew Smith, a senior, pitching. Behind the plate is sophomore Brick Soap. At first base is Cade Moore. Sam Watson at second. Dylan Davenport at short. The third baseman is Carson Crawford. The outfield has Cale Preston in left, Ty Chambers in center, and Caden Ritter is in right field tonight. Trent Johnson, Thompson leads off for the Spring Hill Panthers and takes one outside for ball one. That pitch didn't miss by much. Pierce Pipek with a fairly tight zone. This pitch is foul straight back. One and one the count. Again, this is a Turf infield and grass outfield. That one high, and the count now is two and one. Here's the two one. Misses outside, three and one the count now on Thompson. And again, so far, a fairly tight zone by Pierce Pipak. Here's a 3-1. This one is popped up foul down the right field line. Moore going over, and he makes the catch for out number one. Way to go. Nice play there by Cade Moore. That's a, He went a long way for that one. So Thompson is out. 
F3, which is a means a fly ball to the third position, which is first base, and that brings up Travis Allen, the left fielder. Allen, another right-handed hitter, straight away stands up at the plate. Here's the pitch, and he squares around, take a bunt, and squares around as, as if he's going to bunt and takes a strike. Here's the 0-1, breaking ball outside. Bulldogs again will be at home on Friday night. Here's the 1-1, breaking ball of beauty in there, strike two call. So he's now ahead of Allen, one and two. Matthew, fairly fast worker. Here's the 1-2, high, two and two. Matthew out a, a big part of last year with a injury, a, a freak injury that occurred in a practice session inside the multipurpose building. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He got him. So Allen down on strikes. Two up and two down, and that brings up Carson Tidwell. I mentioned that the game against Spring Hill in district play in which Spring Hill won it two to nothing. That's the only game that, that first pitch is a ball to Tidwell. Here's the 1-0. Strike two, strike one call. Now that's about as wide a strike as you're going to see called by uh, High pack, at least based on what's happening in the first inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Breaking pitch in there for strike two call. Boy, that was a beauty right there, too. One and two on Tidwell. Smith into the line, the 1-2. Two. High and outside, two and two. That 2-0 two victory over Carthage is the only district contest that has not been a run rule for Spring Hill. This one hit in the air to center field. Ritter coming in, and dives for it, cannot get it. And that's going to be a single as that one drops in left center field as Ritter couldn't quite get there in time. That, excuse me, that is Chambers out there. That is not Ritter, Ty Chambers. So Tidwell on with a two-out single. So both teams in the first inning put the third batter in base with a base hit. As high as that one was hit, I thought for sure someone would get that, particularly the center fielder, Chambers, but he dove for it. Almost got it. He dove for it. I believe he, his glove touched it. But he couldn't hold on. Here's the cleanup hitter now. This is the pitcher, Rhodes. He swings and misses for strike one. So the fact that Ritter, I mean, the fact that Chambers, Ritter was in center field in the last ball game. Tonight is Ty Chambers. Here's the 0-1. Strike two call on the breaking ball. The fact that Ty could not get there tells me that he must have been playing fairly deep because it was, it was hit fairly high. It was not a line drive, that's for sure. Okay, 0-2 now on Rhodes. Matthew from the stretch. And the 0-2 pitch. There goes the runner. Throw to second. And he is going to be out at second base. Brooke Soap guns him down. So Soap throws out Tidwell. And that goes 2-6, to six, I believe. And so for the Spring Hill Panthers, in the bottom half of the first inning, no runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Top of two coming up. No score here at Spring Hill. We'll be back after this two-minute break. Make it 90, 90 seconds, 90 seconds. It's a 
powerful story. You can trust the qualified staff at Hudson Financial Group to help you build the right policy that's created just for the needs of your farm or ranch. Randy and his team recognize the importance of the farm and ranch community in Panola County. They understand how much your property means to you and your family and the hard work it requires to maintain. Give them a call at 903-693-7874 or better yet, stop by and see them at 1519 West Panola in Carthage. The Hudson Financial Group can help you customize the coverage you need. It's a powerful storm, and the power is off, completely off. House after house in the dark. This is Pastor Monty Pierce, along with all the fine folks at Central Baptist Church, located one block off the square in beautiful downtown Carthage. If you don't have a church home and you like friendly folks and a meaningful worship service, we invite you to join us this Sunday. Check us out at centralcarthage.com for times and more information. This is Dr. Monty. Go Bulldogs! that uh, Spring Hill seven district wins six have been by the run rule correction on that five have been by the run rule those were 11 to nothing over Kil over Gilmer 10 nothing over center 13 to 1 over Henderson 10 to nothing over Kilgore 13 to nothing over Gilmer and their other victory other than the two nothing win over Carthage was 11 to 3 over Gilmer so that was an eight run victory not a 10 run victory all right this pitch is hit up the middle mcfadden to his left has it throw to first in time i tell you what that is one outstanding shortstop they had there i don't i can't remember for sure how many assists he had in the game in, at carthage but that is someone we do not want to hit it toward is the shortstop. So Moore is out six to three. Patrick Malone, the DH up now. This pitch is high for ball one. Let's see if I can go back and find that. See how many assists McFadden had. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, wait a minute, excuse me. I'll get that here in just a second. A 2-1 count now on Malone. Here's a 2-1 pitch. This is fouled off out of play. 2-2 two two the count now. Matthew Smith with 18 pitches in the first inning. Caden Rhodes had 17. 2-2 two, two count. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Outside and low. 3-2 the count now on Malone. So one out here in the top of the second. No score in the ball game. Here's the 3-2. This one. Short stop. Hit to the short stop on the second hole. Second bounce. They've got it. He's got it over to first in time. Again, that's not where you want to hit it. So it's two, six, three outs here in this inning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, we had he had seven assists in that game at Carthage. In other words, the ball hit to him and he th threw out a runner at first base. Oh one pitch to Crawford. Strike two call. Carson Crawford, the eight-hole hitter up. That was Definitely off the plate a little bit. Here's the 0-2. Low, one and two. Carson Crawford, a sophomore. Third baseman. Here's the one, two. This one. Hit well to left field. Left fielder going back, back, back. This ball is going to be off the wall. It's a fair ball. Here's Crawford rounding first. Hit it towards second, and he'll put in with a stand-up double. That one almost went out of the ballpark. Carson Crawford gave that one a long ride. It was barely fair. 
It hit off, I think, the 320 sign out there. There's a 320 sign just uh, to the right of the left field foul pole. So Crawford hit that one on the, that, that hit the 320 sign on the fly. Crawford barely missing the first home run of the year for the Bulldogs. I think that would have been the first home run for the team. Caden Ritter the batter now. So we've got Carson Crawford at second with two down. First inning, Carthage had runners at first and second with two down. The first two went out. Same thing for Spring Hill. First two went out. The third one got a base hit. Here's the pitch. This one in there for a strike to Ritter. Caden Rhodes, the right-hander. Set at the belt. The pitch, this one is propped up foul out of play. And the count now is 0-2 on Caden Ritter. Ritter, a junior. All right, Rhodes looking for the strikeout here. Here's the 0-2. This one foul back into the screen. Home plate up. Pierce Pipak, Spencer Ashmore is on the bases. Rhodes. Looks back at second at Crawford. Now to the plate, the 0-2 outside, one and two. We're coming to you live from Spring Hill High School. Here's the one, two. This one fouled out of play again. Ritter making him work. This will be the sixth pitch to Ritter. Ritter standing at the very back of the batter's box. Right-handed hitter. This pitch is hit to center field. Center fielder going over to his left. He's there and one-hands it for out number three. So Ritter lines out to center. Well hit ball, but uh, not too far for the center fielder to go. So it is out number three. No hits. I mean, excuse me, no runs. A hit. No errors and one left. So we go now to the bottom of two. The score is Carthage nothing, Spring Hill nothing. We'll have the bottom of the second for you after this 90-second break. Right on the loop, right on the price at XL Ford. Ensures the SUV, truck, or car you choose, new or previously owned, is right for you. Your visit and your questions are welcome, even if you're just browsing. Any information you want will be provided. It's the foundation of exceptional customer service that frees you to proceed at your pace and even provides a money-back guarantee. Right on the price and right on the loop. XL Ford, Carthage, Texas. This is Darcy with Carthage Flower Shop on the Square, where we are more than just flowers. In shop, we keep a variety of live pot plants, silk arrangements, snack baskets, candles, keepsakes, and a great bath and body line called Magnolia Soaps. We now offer balloon arch installations, so give us a call for your next event. We can even get flowers to your loved one out of town. Thank you for all your continued support, Darcy, Jeanette, Levi, and the girls at Carthage Flower Shop. When making important decisions, it's reassuring to count on people you know. First State Bank & Trust Company is that group of people offering home loans or everyday depository needs. First State Bank & Trust is recognized as being among the most reliable, strongest banks as determined by our nation's leading bank rating firm, Bauer Financial Incorporated. It's a five-star rated bank of people you know, always innovating for your changing financial needs. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender, First State Bank. Bottom of two here at Spring Hill High School. And I tell you, if you don't think pitching is important in this particular district, 
Listen to this stat right here. Spring Hill in their seven district games has given up a total of four runs. Carthage in their seven district games has given up a total of five runs. That's the reason that these are the top two teams in 17-4A. All right, the count now is 0-1 on Rhodes. Remember, he was at the plate. Now he swings and misses at a breaking ball. Up. And so the count now is 0-2. He was at the plate when Tidwell was thrown out at second trying to steal. Here's the 0-2. This one popped up right side. Watson calling for it and makes the one-handed grab for out number one. Now will bring up the five-hole hitter. This is Josiah Mackey. He's the catcher. These two teams will go at it again Friday night at Bulldog Park. This one popped up into right center field. Right fielder coming in. He went to his right first and then came in several steps. I think he thought that was going to go a little bit deeper than it actually did. And so Mackey is out on the fly ball to right for out number two in the inning. Catch made out there by Caden Ritter. Again, the outfield for Carthage, Cale Preston in left, Ty Chambers in center, and Ritter in right. Kaysen Wilkins, the batter now, takes a breaking ball in there for a strike. Here's the 0-1. Strike, ooh, that looked good from here. Well, mm. I think, I think Pipac started to go up with the right hand. There was a slight twitch there. There's a strike right there. In my opinion, he should be out by now on that previous pitch. I think he twitched just slightly. He started to call a strike. Here's the one, two. It's low, two and two. Overall, he does not expand the zone much. You know, high school umpires, and you've heard me say this on just about every broadcast, high school umpires tend to expand the zone, particularly to the outside zone, outside corner. Here's the pitch. Strike! Recall got him. So Wilkins is caught looking for the third out of the inning, and so the Spring Hill Panthers go down in order here in the bottom of the second. We go to the third. No score here. We'll be back after this 90-second break. If you need a washer and dryer, you must stop the Carthage Furniture on West Panola. Monty Bacon has a hot point washer and dryer. Monty Bacon and Carthage Furniture has some great deals for you. Rocker recliners, just $3.99. A hot point washer and dryer set, washer $5.49, dryer $4.99, and that includes installation and delivery. A complete bedroom suit, queen bed, dresser, mirror, chest, and nightstands. This is a beautiful sleigh bed set for only $11.35. Monty has a five-drawer chest, just $1.25. At Carthage Furniture, check out their blue sofa and Love seat. Sofa 459. Love seat. Thank you, Panola and surrounding counties, for supporting your local GM dealer, Pippin Motor Company, right here in Carthage. We are your Buick SUV headquarters. Come check out one of the many economical solutions Buick has to offer. Encore, Encore GX, Envision, or Enclave are sure to fit your needs. Whether you're looking for a new Buick, Chevrolet, GMC, or a quality pre owned vehicle, we're here to help. Pippin Motor Company has been serving this community for 72 years and pride ourselves with providing a premium sales and service experience. Come experience a better way to buy a vehicle just across from Panola College. Or look us up on the web at PippinMotorCompany.com. Are you planning a trip but you need a set of tires? Don't worry. Let Graves Tires at 809 East Sabine in Carthage show you the affordable way to go. Graves Tires offers name brand tires at a savings. They're number 903-693-4841. They even have used tires for sale. They're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and on Saturday, 7.30 to noon. Remember it great. Back to Ty Chambers. The second one is a uh, two-hopper down to third base, and the third baseman throws him out at first. So one out here in the top of the third. Chambers now 0 for 2. He struck out looking in the first and grounds out to third here in the third. Sam Watson, who lined to center on the first pitch to him back in the first inning, steps in there now. There's a strike over the outside corner. A 
Here's the 0-1. This one grounded foul. That, I think, may have been off the outside corner. It was close. Now Watson behind in the count, 0-2. This pitch is hit foul down the left field line. So it stays now 0-2. Here's the 0-2. This is a one-hopper past the pitcher. Second baseman has it over to first in time. Watson hustling down the line, made it fairly close down there. But he is out 4-3. In each of the first two innings, the Bulldogs, their first two hitters went out. And then the third hitter got a base hit. In the first inning, Davenport with two outs, single. Preston then walked. So we had first and second, two down, and Soap struck out. In, this sec in the second inning, the first two outs, and then Crawford doubled off the wall. This one is hit uh, into left field. The left fielder is there and makes the catch for out number three. So Davenport flies out to left, and I tell you what, we are sailing along here, game moving right along in a hurry here. These two pitchers work in a hurry, and they are uh, throwing a, a, a pitching. They've got a pitching deal going so, so far, okay? So no runs, no hits, and no errors, and uh, no one left. Three up and three down for the dogs. So now we go to the bottom of three. No score at Spring Hill. Back after this 60-second break. Come and see the all-new Carthage Isles. Today at Whataburger, we're cooking the sweet and spicy bacon burger, and now it's an all-time favorite. You can't beat it. It's hot, it's fresh, I love this burger. It's just perfect. The sweet and spicy bacon burger is my all-time favorite. Two beef patties, two different types of cheese, caramelized onions. My favorite thing about this burger is the sweet and spicy pepper sauce and the bacon. <laughs> You asked for it and it's back. The sweet and spicy bacon burger is now an all-time favorite at Whataburger. That's happiness. <laughs> Grant Burton will lead off for the Spring Hill Panthers here in the bottom of the third. So it's the bottom third of the order for Spring Hill in the third inning. Burton, McFadden, and Barnes. Here's the pitch from Smith. Outside, ball one. Pierce Papak, Pipak has been on some officiating crews that have officiated Carthage Bulldog football games. Check swing, did he go around? No, he did not. So it's now 2-0. 2-0 to Burton, leading off here in the third inning. The 2-0. There's a strike. 2-1. All right, Smith with the 2-1. This one inside, 3-1. Here's a 3-1. This one hit in the air to right field. Right fielder going back. Now he's coming in, and he makes the one-handed catch for out number one. So that was Ritter out there in right field. He went back initially, then came in, had plenty of time. It was a, it was a uh, high fly ball. So Burton is out. And that brings up Wyatt McFadden. McFadden, the shortstop. Again, 320 down the left field line here, 315 to right, 375 to center. If you're wondering about Bulldog Park, 320 down the line's there, 380 to straightaway center, and 394 to the alleys. That pitch is just outside, didn't miss by much. 1-0 to McFadden. Here's the 1-0. This one hit. Right side, Cade Moore in foul ground, calling for it, and he makes the one-handed grab for out number two. 
So McFadden pops out to first. And again, we're sailing along here at a really fast pace. I'm not going to complain about that because it is fairly cool tonight. I brought two jackets with me. I've had one jacket on. Here's Mason Barnes. The pitch to him is swung on and missed. That was inside. Boy, that, if he hits that one, it's going to be right off the small end of the bat. That didn't miss hitting him by much. Owen went on Barnes. He fouls this one off. Owen to the count. Matthew Smith working in a hurry. Rhodes, the starter for Spring Hill, a fast worker also. Again, this is a turf field as far as the infield. This is turf on the infield, grass in the outfield. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. So Barnes down on strikes. Three up and three down. We go to the fourth. No score here. We're moving along at a fast pace. Back after this 90-second break. Check off your to-do list with big savings on building materials at Kane Hardware and Lumber. Kane's is your one-stop shop for building materials for large-scale jobs, small projects, and everything in between. Whether you're building a house, adding on, or just updating, we carry the concrete, drywall, lumber, insulation, roofing, siding, molding, and many more products you'll need. Add character and charm to your home with our large selection of paint colors. We have all the products you need. Shop Kane Hardware and Lumber at 224 South Shelby Street in Carthage. Carthage Independent School District is where champions are educated. As we face another year of uncertainty, Carthage will remain committed to being champions for every child, every day. We will continue being champions in the classroom with the help of our incredible team of teachers. We will continue being champions in extracurriculars, fine arts, and athletic events with the support of our fans along the way. And we will continue being champions for our community. Thank you for your continued support. The city of Carthage, county seat of Panola County, gas capital of the United States and friendliest spot in the world. We have it all, tempered weather, lots of jobs, good schools and churches, and even the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame. Carthage, a great spot on Highway 59 to settle down or just to visit for a while. Panola College, local medical care, a low tax base, and great shopping. That's Carthage. Recommend us, refer us, and revive yourself in the piney woods of East Texas. Carthage with places we're all proud to call home. All right, middle third of the order for the Bulldogs, and here's a butt, and it's caught by the third baseman. Preston tried to get the butt down, and unfortunately, he uh, he didn't get it down. <laughs> it stayed up. Third baseman playing in, knowing that Preston is a outstanding bunter, outstanding, and uh, he came in and made the diving catch on that. So Preston out on the first pitch to him. And that pitch is high to Brooks Soap. Soap struck out swinging in the first in the first inning. With a couple of players on base. There's a strike. That was slightly off the plate right there, but strike one. One and one the count. This one foul back, and now it goes to one and two. Well, being down here right on the field, on the field level, you can see how see where the batters stand. Soap has both feet on the line on the, on the right-headed batter's box. This pitch is hit into center field. Center fielder coming in, and he makes the catch, and that is out number two. Well, the Bulldogs are putting it in play, uh, but they are hitting it pretty much right at the Panthers. The Bulldogs have, uh, let's see, they've only had one player make that two strike out so far. That was Chambers leading off the first and Soap ending the first inning. Here's Cade Mora, who granted a short his first time, takes a strike. Well, I mean, both pitchers are in a big-time groove so far. Here's the 0-1. Oh one. This one is lined to left center. Left fielder going over to his left, and he's got it. That was that was well hit right there. Really well hit by Cade Moore. If that's down the line, it's an easy double. 
but left fielder again had him pretty much perfectly played, and so Moore is out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Uh, the Rhodes, the starter for Spring Hill, has now retired seven straight Bulldogs. We go to the bottom of four. No score here at Spring Hill back in 60 seconds. Throughout Texas, Louisiana, and New Mexico, one of the largest independent oil field service companies is Penergy, ranked number one in the United States for total number of wells drilled. You'll likely recognize Penergy Carthage top management, Randy Taylor, Brandon Taylor, Andy Snow, Justin Taylor, and Steve Nations. At the Austin Corporate Office, senior management offers a combined 400 years experience regarding energy services. No more. Check the website, penergy.com, or call 903-693-8. Better solutions, better building, comes from Louisiana Pacific, caring and involved corporate resident. Friends and neighbors in Panola County are the foundation of business at Louisiana Pacific, delivering high-performance building products in the area. You know these folks. You know them from church, civic clubs, as volunteers in the work they do in the community and at Louisiana Pacific. Good people in good company with you and Louisiana Pacific. The fourth coming up here, so we're in the, we've played three and a half innings. Oh, and I want to... I've got an announcement to make. Technically, this is, we are now exactly halfway through the district campaign because there's 15 games, and we have now played seven and one-half games. We're at the halfway point here of game number eight. So we're halfway through the district race, and we are in the starting the bottom of the fourth, and uh, we have played now 43 minutes. Wow. That's moving right along. And go back to the top of the order now for Spring Hill and Trent Thompson. He popped out to Moore his first time. Thompson, a right-handed batter. First pitch to him. Outside, ball one. Here's the 1-0. This one. High hopper to third, gonna be a tough play, long throw. Got him. Nice throw by Carson Crawford. High hop. It took a huge hop off of the turf here. Which tells you that I don't think they had the same turf that we've got. Just being honest with you, okay. If you haven't been out to Bulldog Park now, you wouldn't know this by just sitting in the stands at Bulldog Park, but Bulldog Park has the very finest artificial turf that's been produced. It mimics this one, bounces off the mitt of uh, soap and all the way back to the screen. So 1 and 0 the count. Soap going to go out and talk to Matthew. Yeah, the turf at, at Bulldog Park is designed to mimic what it would be like for an actual grass field. But that was a high hopper to Crawford, and he got it and then had to make a strong throw, and he did, to get him at first base. 2-0 oh the count now to Allen, as that was a little bit high. 2-0 oh the count now to Trent, to Travis Allen. Carson Tidwell on deck. This one hit foul out of play right side. The seats here are covered seats. There are no chairback seats as we have at Bulldog Park. I believe I'm correct in saying the baseball field, the baseball park has 750. Here's the 2 1. He tries to get the butt down. And did he foul that off? I think he did. Okay, it's 3 and 1, that's what the scoreboard has. It is three and one, okay. That looked like a strike. He, that one is ball four. And so Allen walks on a three one pitch. I thought that pitch where he squared around a bunt looked to me like that it was a strike, but did not get the call. And so Tidwell now steps in there. 
runner on first for Spring Hill. Remember, they tried to steal second in the first inning with two outs, and Tidwell was thrown out. So now runner on first with one out. There's a strike, a breaking ball. Tidwell singled in the first inning. Here's a stretch by Matthew. There goes the runner. This pitch is swung on him. Missed it under second, and he is. That went into center field, but he was backed up by the center fielder, so he is safe at second. So that'll be a stolen base for Allen. Now the one play that I have I, that I don't have a great view of is that throw to second because. We're pretty much right behind home plate. So you've got the umpire that's obstructing my view and the pitcher, and then you've uh, got the other, the base umpire at second base. So the count now is 0-2 on Tidwell. So Spring Hill has the go-ahead run in this ball game. It's a nothing-nothing game in the bottom of the fourth. They have a runner on second with one out. 0-2 count on Tidwell. Smith looking down to Soap. He's got the sign. And the 0-2. High. 1 and 2. Matthew has now thrown 47 pitches. Rhodes threw three inning, three innings through 48. Okay, 1 and 2 the count now on Tidwell. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Tidwell down on strikes for out number two. And that will be one, the first, second, third. That's the fourth strike out of the ball game for Matthew Smith. So Spring Hill has struck out four times in the ball game so far. Carthage has struck out only twice. So again, we're making contact, but I'm telling you, uh, not. Only is Carthage a great defensive team. Spring Hill is also. All right, here's the cleanup hitter, Rhodes. This pitch is popped up right side. In foul ground, Cade Moore is there waiting on it and makes the one-handed grab for out number three. So Rhodes on the first pitch flies out to Cade Moore in foul ground. And so for the Spring Hill Panthers here in the fourth, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. That is their first base runner that they have stranded in the ball game. So we go now to the top of five. In other words, we have played four innings here in 49 minutes. How about that? Top of five coming up. We'll have it for you right after this 60-second break. Jim Pack Carthage, over 50 years servicing the food and restaurant industry with superior products. Advancing innovation. Jim Pack Carthage, over 50 years servicing the food and restaurant industry with superior products. Advancing innovative packaging to enhance the human experience is more than just our purpose statement. It's our driving passion to make people's lives better through the food packaging they use daily. Jim Pack's dedication to quality assures you get food containers and packaging at its best. Browse and find what you need at ginpack.com or look for our products on amazon.com we are every flow zone is your industry leader for all oil and gas pipe valve fitting and supply needs flow zone carthage has over 130 years of combined experience with an outstanding safety record flow zone located at 1092 highway 59 south just south of denny's is ready to offer customer service that will exceed your expectations with services such as free delivery and competitive pricing. Call them today, 903-263-0200. All right, we are back here at Spring Hill High School. Sailing right along, top of five coming up, no score. It'll be Malone, Crawford, and Ritter for the Bulldogs. Let's go, Patrick, get something started here. Carthage, no runs on two hits. Spring Hill, no runs on one hit. Here's the first pitch to Malone. Boy, that looked pretty good from here. Mm. 
Very close. 1 and 0. Oh. Here's the 1 0 oh. in there for a strike. 1 and 1. Pierce pie pack behind the plate. Here's the 1 1. Fouled off right side. Stephen Ash Ashmore on the bases. Okay, the count now is 1 and 2 on Malone. He's granted out to short his first time up. Here we are starting the fifth inning. Only two Bulldogs have struck out so far, but uh, they have outstanding defense. Here's the pitch that is low, two and two the count. Here's the two, two. This one line to the shortstop. Oh, gets by him in the left center field. Here's Malone going to round first. Is he going to try for second? No, he's going to put on the brakes. Good thing he did. I thought McFadden at shortstop would come up with that. He put his glove out there, and I guess it just, you know, I guess it got pa past him. At, maybe it was harder hit than he in anticipated. So that is a leadoff single for Malone. All right, let's see if we can get him around. Carson Crawford. Remember, Crawford, first time up, he hit one off the wall on the fly down the left field line for a double. Squirrels around the bunt, gets the bunt down. Good one. Pitcher has it, goes to first in time. So Crawford, with the sacrifice bunt, is out one to three. And that brings up now Caden Ritter. So it's going to be Ritter and Chambers with a chance to give the Bulldogs the lead here. Ritter lined to center his first time. Again, Spring Hill, they've only had one close game in district play. Five of them were run rules games. Then they beat Gilmer by eight runs. The score against Carthage was two to nothing. Here's a pitch to Ritter. This one popped up. Foul. First baseman and foul ground. Calling for it. And he makes the catch for out number two. Hmm. Well, Caden there went after a high pitch and popped it up. So now it's Ty Chambers. Chambers, one of one, one of four returning starters from last year back this year. He is 0 for 2, struck out looking and then grounded to third. Let's go, Ty. Rhodes from the stretch. Here's the pitch. This one swung on a miss. That was a breaking ball there. We've got Malone at second. He singled a line drive single to start the fifth inning. Sacrificed to second by Crawford on the bunt. Here's the 0-1 to Chambers. This one swung on a miss. Strike two. Oh, and two the count. Runner in second, two down. Top of five, no score. The 0 2, high, one and two. Let's go, Ty. Ty again, a two year starter. Plays some shortstop. He plays shortstop when Davenport is pitching. Here's the 1 2. Inside, ball two, two and two the count. So he was behind in the count, 0 oh and two. Now it's even at two and two. Top of five, rendering scoring position for the Bulldogs. Carson Crawford at second base with two down. Rhodes looks back at Crawford at second. Here's the two, two. This one popped up foul, out of play. Bulldogs, Rhodes is now facing the order for the third time. Chambers up for the third time in the ball game. Here's the stretch by Rhodes, looks back at second. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. This one hit well to left center field. Left fielder is back, he's there, waiting on it, and two hands it for out number three. And so that ends the threat for the Bulldogs. 
Chambers now is 0 for 3 in the ball game. For the Bulldogs in the fifth inning, no runs, one hit. That's our third hit of the ball game, no errors, and one left. All right, we go to the bottom of the fifth. No score here at Spring Hill. Back after this 90-second break. Ready to supercharge your future in the energy industry? Panola College is introducing the brand new Matthews Foundation Energy Building, opening its doors this fall with programs in electrician, HVAC, natural gas compression, and welding. Small class sizes, state-of-the-art equipment, and personalized attention where your goals are our priority. Our hands-on approach means you're diving into the real-world energy experience, setting you up for success from day one. Enroll today at panola.edu slash energy to start your electrifying future. Bink's Quick Stop in Carthage on the corner of 699 and The Loop. Open Sunday through Thursday from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. Open for breakfast and the grill is open throughout the day and it provides the best hamburgers in town. You can also get a grilled chicken or chicken fried steak. It's all fresh and made from scratch. And of course, you can fill up your tank with gas. That's at Bink's a Quick Stop in Carthage, again on the corner of 699 and The Loop. Farmers State Bank, a name that you know and can depend on. We're your neighbors and community partners. We're committed to meeting your financial needs by providing banking solutions for your mortgage, commercial, or personal loans. With 118 years of service to our community, we're part of your local rodeos, 4-H, and festivals. We want you to know that we're here for you. Visit us at fsbctx.bank or come see us today. Farmers State Bank, improving lives and fulfilling dreams. Member FDI. Here's the first pitch to Josiah Mackey. Low for ball one. We're in the bottom of the fifth. No score. Here's the 1-0. This one hit on the ground to the right side. Watson has it over to first in time. That was cued off the end of the bat. Had a funny spin as it went out towards second base, and Watson came in, picked it up, and got him at first base. So one up, one down. Case and Wilkins now the batter. He struck out looking back in the second inning. This pitch fouled out of play. Owen won the count. We have yet to play one hour almost. And we're in the top half of the bottom half of the fifth inning. There's strike two call. Oh and two on Wilkins. One out in the bottom of five. No score. Here's the 0-2. Outside, way outside. Here's the one two. Didn't miss by much. Two and two the count now. That was either high or outside. Two and two the count now. Here's the two two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Wilkins down on strikes for the second time in the contest. And that brings us now to the seven hole hitter, Grant Burton. Burton flied to right his first time, flied out to Ritter defensively for Carthage. Matthew Smith, senior right-hander on the mound. Brooks Soap, sophomore catcher behind the plate. Carson Crawford to sophomore. He's at third base. Dylan Davenport at short. Strike one call on the breaking ball to Beauty in there. Dylan Davenport at short. Sam Watson at second. Cade Moore at first. Here's the run up the 0-1. This one, that's going to get down right there into left field for a base hit. One hit sharply, but got down for a hit. And Kale Preston out there playing fairly deep. Now, I tell you what, it's hard for me to, uh, since we're on the ground, it's hard for me to judge exactly how, the depth of the outfielders. You just can't tell as well as when you're up high. 
There's a strike. So two outs in the runner in first. And a strike to McFadden. McFadden popped out to Moore his first time. Right-handed hitter, shortstop. Here's the 0-1. This one fell back into the screen. And again, this is the guy from Spring Hill, at least from what I saw in that first ball game, that you don't want to hit it to this fella. He doesn't make any mistakes. 0-2 the count to McFadden. Here's the stretch by Smith. The 0-2. Didn't miss by much. 1-2 the count. That was either low or outside. One and two the count now on McFadden. Runner on first, two down, bottom of five, no score. The one, two. This one, ground ball to the third baseman. Crawford has it on the second hop over to first in time. And that's the end of the fifth inning as McFadden goes out five to three. So for the Spring Hill Panthers, no runs, one hit. That's their second hit of the ball game. No errors and one left. So they have two hits and they've stranded two in five innings. Carthage with three hits and we've stranded three in five innings. Everyone else has been has made an out. <laughs> All right, so we go down to the top of six. No score at Spring Hill. Back after this 60-second break. This is Brandy Imanis, marketing director for Hope Community Medicine. We're caring. Escogiendo el mejor proveedor médica puede ser difícil. Hope Community Medicine está aquí por ti. Si ocupa ayuda médica, ginecólogo o salud conductal, es nuestra misión proveer acceso de alta calidad de salud a pesar de su habilidad de pagar. Tenemos cinco clínicas en Carthage Center, Tenojo y San Agustín para poder servir mejor a usted y su familia. 903-690-8395. We all like to save money, and State Farm can help with discounts. When you combine your car insurance with your State Farm homeowner's insurance, you get big savings. So talk to me, Agent Tate Barber, and experience the good neighbor service that has made us America's number one insurance company. Together, we can help you make sure you get the discount you deserve. No policy with State Farm? No problem. Call me, Agent Tate Barber, at 903-693-7555, or stop by my office, 1502 West Panola, directly across the street from McDonald's, to find out how much... Here at Spring Hill, no score. Sam Watson leads leading off. This pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Watson has lined to center and has granted the second. Here's the 0-1. This one is it's on the ground. Throw to first in time. Okay. I, I had to wait for the umpire to give the signal Pierce Pipek because that was a line drive that this third baseman dove for and I couldn't tell if he caught it or not. Pip Pipek signaling that it did hit the ground. So it sh he cut it on the short hop and he gets up and throws him out at first base. So one out now for Dylan Davenport. Davenport is single and fly to left. There's a strike, a breaking ball. Here's the wind up the 0-1. This one fouled out of play. 0-2. You know, who knows? This game may come down to the, you know, whoever makes the first error. Uh, that may be what decides it here. Here's the 0-2. This one lined to center field. Is that going to be down? It is not. It's caught for out number two. Davenport hit it well. We've hit some balls well tonight, but we've hit them straight at them. Now, again, Carson Crawford came very close to hitting one out of here in the second inning. It hit the wall on the fly right down the left field line. All right, here's Cale Preston. Preston has walked, and then he tried to bunt his way on, and he hit a little line drive that the third baseman caught. That one's outside, ball one. Outside ball two. 
Rhodes, just like Matthew Smith, working in a hurry. 2-0 and on Preston, the 2-0. Swung on and missed, strike one. These two teams will go at it Friday night at Bulldog Park. Here's the wind up, the 2-1 to Preston. Strike two call. Kale adjusts his batting glove, steps back in there. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Low ball three. Three and two to Preston. These pitchers have not gone to a three ball count on many batters tonight. And let's see, we've got time call. There may be some lights on in the car out there that they're trying to get, trying to get the uh, driver to turn them off. Catch the attention of the driver. 3-2 count on Preston. Two outs in the top of the six. No score. Two out. Here's the pitch. This one line foul out of play. Part of the parking lot here is uh, is within range of a foul ball. Here's the 3-2. Strike three call. Got him on the inside corner, so Preston called out on strikes to end the sixth inning. So three up and three down for the Bulldogs. We go to the bottom of six. No score here. Back in 90 seconds. You can trust the qualified staff at Hudson Financial Group to help you build the You can trust the qualified staff at Hudson Financial Group to help you build the right policy that's created just for the needs of your farm or ranch. Randy and his team recognize the importance of the farm and ranch community in Panola County. They understand how much your property means to you and your family and the hard work it requires to maintain. Give them a call at 903-693-7874 or better yet, stop by and see them at 1519 West Panola in Carthage. The Hudson Financial Group can help you customize the coverage you need. It's a powerful storm, and the power is off, completely off. House after house in the dark, each one plunging a family into uncertainty and fear. One dark house after another, and another, and wait, is that light? It is, and there's one reason for it. The owners of this home have a permanently installed backup power generator from Briggs & Stratton. Whole house backup power has never been easier or more affordable than with the power experts at Briggs & Stratton. So have one installed in your home and be a shining example of thinking ahead and protecting your family. Hey, somebody has to light the way. Whole house backup power generators from Briggs & Stratton. Briggs and Stratton. Bottom of the six here at Spring Hill. No score. Again, these are the top two teams in the district. And they played to a 2 nothing ball game a few weeks ago in Carthage. That pitch is low and outside. This is the nine-hole hitter, Mason Barnes, who struck out swinging back in the third. One and over to him. This pitch fouled up and out of play. So it'll be 9-1-2 and two here for Spring Hill in the sixth. For Carthage in the seventh, it'll be 5-6-7 and seven coming up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one is swung on and missed. 1-2 and two the count. Barnes, the second baseman for the Panthers. Here's the 1-2 outside. 2-2. Two and two. Always important, of course, to get the first batter in an inning. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. So Barnes out on a breaking ball. And that will bring up now Trent Thompson, the leadoff hitter, who has popped out to first and granted to third.
But one thing about this position right here, Brenton, I feel safe. We got the police chief just to my right. This pitch is popped up out into center field. Chambers is there waiting on it and two hands it for out number two. Pretty much did not have to move at all. Looked like he might have taken a step back, then a step in and makes the catch for out number two. And that'll bring up Travis Allen now. Allen, the left fielder, is struck out swinging and then walked. And, you know, just to, just to be quite honest, it's going to be a shame for either pitcher to lose this ball game right here. Mm, the way they have pitched so far. Smith to the plate. There's a beauty in there for a strike, a breaking ball. Allen again has struck out swinging and walked. Straight away stands up at the plate, a right-handed hitter. Here's the 0-1. Squared around like he was going to put a butt down and then took it for a ball. That brought Crawford charging in from third. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. Spring here with two hits in the ball game. Carthage has three. Here's the 2-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two and two now on Allen. No relation to me. Here's the two two. Swing! No, strike three call. Strike three call, and Allen is called out on strikes to end the bottom of the sixth. Three up, three down for the Panthers. We go to the top of seven. No score here at Spring Hill. Back after this 90 second break. This is Pastor Monty Pierce, along with all the fine folks at Central Baptist Church, located one block off the square in beautiful downtown Carthage. If you don't have a church home and you like friendly folks and a meaningful worship service, we invite you to join us this Sunday. Check us out at centralcarthage.com for times and more information. This is Dr. Monty. Go Bulldogs! Right on the loop, right on the price at Excel Ford ensures the SUV, truck, or car you choose, new or previously owned, is right for you. Your visit and your questions are welcome, even if you're just browsing. Any information you want will be provided. It's the foundation of exceptional customer service that frees you to proceed at your pace and even provides a money-back guarantee. Right on the price and right on the loop. Excel Ford, Carthage, Texas. This is Darcy with Carthage Flower Shop on the Square, where we are more than just flowers. In shop, we keep a variety of live pot plants, silk arrangements, snack baskets, candles, keepsakes, and a great bath and body line called Magnolia Soaps. We now offer balloon arch installations, so give us a call for your next event. We can even get flowers to your loved one out of town. Thank you for all your continued support. Top of seven coming up here at Spring Hill, the Five, six, and seven for the Bulldogs. That's Brooks Soap, Cade Moore, and Patrick Malone. No score. Carthage has had three hits. Spring Hill has had two. Carthage has left three on base. Spring Hill has stranded two. One and oh now to Soap. He has struck out swinging and lied to center. Let's go, Brooks. High ball two. Top of seven. Pitch count not a factor here. Outside ball three, three and oh to, to Soap. Leading off here in the seventh inning. Low ball four, Soap on with a leadoff walk. I tell you what, on that, on that fourth pitch, he stepped even closer to the plate. Both of his feet were on the Right-handed batter's box line. He stepped closer to the plate. I don't know if that had an effect on Rhodes, but the 
final pitch was well inside and low. And so Soap leads off with a walk. And now we're going to have a runner coming in for him. And that is going to be number 12, and that is Blayton Legron. So Blayton Legron in to run at first base for Soap. The batter is Cade Moore. He squares around a butt, takes it high, snap throw to first, and he's back in there. I tell you what, Josiah Mackey, the catcher, doesn't mind throwing behind you. He tried to uh, catch Legrone sleeping down there. Moore has grounded a short and lined to left, squaring around a butt, and it's a strike. I think he said that he went after it there, that he committed one and one the count. Runs are scarce tonight. So the Bulldogs look like they may be trying to go with a sacrifice here. Moore squaring around to bunt again. Throw to first, and he's back in. And, of course, now if you are Legron, the last thing you want to do is get picked off of first base here. We just haven't, neither team has had many base runners tonight. Here's Moore squaring around the butt, pulls the bat back and takes a strike. Hmm. That was over the inside corner, so now he's behind in the count, one and two. Now you would think here with two strikes that the bunt is definitely off. That was the 80th pitch for Rhodes. They were in the seventh. Inside, two and two the count. Moore, Cade Moore pulls a, a little booklet out of his back left pocket and looks at it. Here's the two two. This one granted. Into right field for a base hit. Runner on first is going to try for third. He's fumbled by the third by the right fielder, and he's into third base, standing up. So the hit and run there. Cade Moore grounds one into right field, and that sends Legrone around to third. So now the Bulldogs with a great scoring opportunity here. Here comes Garrett Methvin out of the Spring Hill dugout to talk with his pitcher. So let's take a break. 30 seconds and we'll be back. When making important decisions, it's reassuring to count on people you know. First State Bank and Trust Company is that group of people offering home loans or everyday deposits. When making important decisions, it's reassuring to count on people you know. First State Bank and Trust Company is that group of people offering home loans or everyday depository needs. First State Bank and Trust is recognized as being among the most reliable, strongest banks as determined by our nation's leading bank rating firm, Bauer Financial Incorporated. It's a five-star rated bank. Of okay, the conversation is finished on the mound, so we're going to return to play again. What a chance for the Bulldogs here in the seventh inning. Brick Soap walked on four pitches. Cade Moore with a ground ball into right field for a base hit, sending Legrone, who was running for Soap to third, and now the infield in for Spring Hill. Infield in with Patrick Malone at the plate, the DH. Would we be looking at the squeeze here? Hmm, don't know. Rhodes going to work from the stretch. Runners at the corners, nobody out. He squares around the butt and butts, gets the butt down. And here's the first baseman going to come to the plate, and he is safe at the plate. He is safe at the plate. They got the butt down, and the first baseman came in and made a high throw to the plate, and the dogs lead it one to nothing. Malone got the butt down. It wasn't a suicide butt. He got it down. So Moore advances to second. Malone is at first. He got it down, so that'll be an RBI for Patrick Malone, and the Bulldogs lead 1-0 here in the seventh inning, still with nobody out. He got it down, bunting it really harder than he wanted to. It went to the first baseman, 
and the first baseman threw to the plate. They had a chance to get Legron, but the throw was high. Caught by the catcher, and he, we square around, get another butt down, another butt. Pitcher has it, throws to first, and got him at first base. So another butt there by Carson Crawford. And that moves two base runners up. And that's the first out of the inning. So now we have runners at second and third. One out for Caden Ritter. Well, we went with the butt with a runner on third earlier in this inning. Would we do it again here? So you've got, and that is not Cade Moore at first base. Let's see who that, okay, ask, ask, ask him who's at first. Who's at, who's the third base running? Andrew. Maddox Martinez. Okay, we try to bunt, and this one's fell back into the screen. Okay, I thought that looked like him. So Maddox Martinez is running at first base at third base for Cade Moore. So you've got Martinez at third and Malone at second. We're in the top of the seventh. Carthage has just scored to take a one nothing lead. And we've got runners at second and third with one out and an 0-1 count now on Ritter. He scores around the butt. It gets the butt down. And they're going to go to first base, and he is the third of the plate, and he's safe. They went to first base, and he was called out, I think, at first. And then when they threw to first, the runner came home, and he's safe at the plate. So Ritter with an RBI. They went to first base to get the out, the second out, and when they did, then Martinez sprinted to the plate and scored ahead of the throw. So the RBIs in this inning by Ritter and by Patrick Malone. Okay, and they he was safe at first base. Or no, let's see. Okay, no, that's that's that Chambers, okay. Chambers going down to first. So they intentionally walk Ty Chambers. So there's two outs in the inning. Carthy's now leading it two to nothing. Sam Watson the batter. This pitch is fouled back into the screen. Okay, Sam, let's make him pay for walking chambers to get to you. So we've got two runs in. Runners at the corners now. First and third. This pitch is a ground ball on the right side. Second baseman has it, throw to first, and he is out at first base to end the inning. So the Bulldogs pick up two runs here in the top half of the seventh inning. One hit. No errors. And two men left on base. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Carthy is now leading it two to nothing. We'll be back after this 60 second break. Monty Bacon and Carthage Furniture has some great deals for you. Rocker recliners, just $3.99. A hot pot washer and dryer set, washer $5.49, dryer $4.99, and that includes installation and delivery. A complete bedroom suit, queen bed, dresser, mirror, chest, and nightstands. This is a beautiful sleigh bed set for only $11.35. Money has a five-drawer chest, just $1.25. At Carthage Furniture, check out their blue sofa and love seat. Sofa $4.59, love seat $3.99. Carthage Furniture, where Rosa speaks Spanish. Thank you, Panola and surrounding counties for supporting your local GM dealer, Pippin Motor Company, right here in Carthage. We are your Buick SUV headquarters. Come check out one of the many economical solutions Buick has to offer. Encore, Encore GX, Envision, or Enclave are sure to fit your needs. Whether you're looking for a new Buick, Chevrolet, GMC, or a quality pre-owned vehicle, we're here to help. Pippin Motor Company has been serving this community for 72 years and pride ourselves with providing a premium sales and service experience. Come experience a better way to buy a vehicle just across from Panola College or look us up on the web at Pippin Motor 
Okay, we go now to the bottom of the seventh. Incidentally, Matthew Smith with 73 pitches so far through six innings. So that's averaging 12 pitches per inning. That's outstanding right there. Caden Rhodes wound up throwing 89 pitches for seven innings. Okay, well here we've got the three, four, and five hole, three, four, and five hole hitters coming up. First pitch is outside, ball one. Carthage with two runs here in the seventh. They're up two to nothing. Here's the 1-0. There's a strike. One and one the count. Really important to get this first out. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Yes, he went around. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. They said no. The base dump did. Looked to me like he, looked, looked like me he went around. Here's a 2-1. This one hit down the right field line. That's going to be a foul ball. Two and two the count. And I tell you what, just to show you, you know, the, the, um, the type ballpark that we had, there are absolutely no dark spots in the lighting at our place. A couple of dark spots here. Pretty good, but a couple of dark spots. Here's the wind up the 2 2. This one foul back into the screen, and it stays 2 and 2. Matthew Smith trying to finish it out here and come up with a big shutout for the Bulldogs. This would tie up the district race if we can hold on and win it. Here's the 2 2. Inside ball three. Ball three, two strikes to Carson Tidwell. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Strike three, call, he got him. Tidwell called out on strikes. He didn't like it. Boy, that's a big one there. That was over the inside corner. That was, a, that was I guarantee you, that was definitely over the corner. Perfect pitch. Perfect pitch. Boy, that's a big one there. All right, this is Rhodes up there now. Rhodes has popped to second and then popped out to first. Outside, 1-0. Oh. Spring Hill down to the last two outs. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Outside, 2-0. Oh. Mm. That was big to get that first batter. Because you know if he gets on, that's gonna, that's gonna. Here's the 2-0. This one swinging a miss, strike one. That's gonna get their dugout going if he had got on. Two and one the count. Here's the 2-2. Strike two call. Rhodes has popped to second and popped to first. Two and two on Rhodes. One out in the bottom of the seventh. Kruth is leading two to nothing. Here's a two-two. Foul back into the screen. Stays at two and two. Matthew at now 85 pitches. Remember the limit's 110. The windup, the two-two. Hit on the ground. First baseman. Pitcher's gonna have to cover a pitcher. Pitch to him, and he is out at first base. That was close. Hit to, uh, that, that was a ground ball to the right side. I don't think Sam Watson's gonna get, be able to get to it and throw him out. Long way for him to go. So Cade Moore had to go to his right and get it and had to rely on Matthew Smith to get over there, and he did. It was very close. So he is out three to one. Two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Mackey up now. He is fly to right and granted a second. Outside, ball one. Mm. Boy, those two outs have silenced the Spring Hill crowd. Here's the 1-0. Strike call, one call. Boy, this would be so big to win this game on the road here and tie up the district race. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. One. 
Hmm. Matthew Smith has pitched to Jim here. So far, here's the windup and the 2 1. Strike two call. Spring Hill down near the last strike. Boy, he stands up both feet on the on the batter's box line. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Got it. Dogs win. Dogs win it by score of 2 to nothing. As Mackey went down swinging. And so the Bulldogs go on the road here to Spring Hill, and they knock off the number one team in the district, the Spring Hill Panthers, a two-hit shutout for Matthew Smith. Wow, what a ball game. And he only threw 91 pitches in seven innings. All right, we're going to take a break here. We'll wrap it up in 90 seconds. 90 seconds, we'll wrap it up. Are you planning a trip, but you need a set of tires? Don't worry. Let Graves Tires. Are you planning a trip, but you need a set of tires? Don't worry. Let Graves Tires at 809 East Sabine in Carthage show you the affordable way to go. Graves Tires offers name brand tires at a savings. They're number 903-693-4841. They even have used tires for sale. They're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and on Saturday, 7.30 to noon. Remember Today at Whataburger, we're cooking the sweet and spicy bacon burger. And now it's an all-time favorite. You can't beat it. It's hot, it's fresh. I love this burger. It's just perfect. The sweet and spicy bacon burger is my all-time favorite. Two beef patties, two different types of cheese, caramelized onions. My favorite thing about this burger is the sweet and spicy pepper sauce and the bacon. <laughs> You ask for it and it's back. The sweet and spicy bacon burger is now an all-time favorite at Whataburger. That's Tuesday night at Spring Hill High School, the Carthage Bulldogs and the Spring Hill Panthers, the top two teams in District 17-4A getting together. And boy, this was an outstanding contest here at Spring Hill as Caden Rhodes for the Spring Hill Panthers and Matthew Smith for the Carthage Bulldogs pitched an outstanding ball game, both of them doing an outstanding job. There was no scoring until the seventh inning when the Bulldogs scored two runs both of them coming in as a result of bunts in the seventh inning. Their RBIs in the seventh inning on those bunts, Patrick Malone and also Caden Ritter. And the Bulldogs win it by a score of two to nothing. Here are the totals in the ballgame for the Spring Hill Panthers. No runs on two hits, no errors, and they left two men on base. And for the Carthage Bulldogs, two runs on four hits, no errors, and they stranded six. Matthew Smith. Senior right-hander gets the victory. His record now for the season is 5-3. and three. He went the distance seven innings, gave up no runs on two hits, struck out nine, and only walked one batter. Boy, what a big win for the Bulldogs because now this ties up the district race at seven wins and one loss for both Carthage and Spring Hill. And they will play on Friday night. The winner of that game will be all alone in first place, in first place in the district. And that, you know, both teams have been successful against all the other district opponents so far. So that game Friday night very well could decide who is the number one seed and who is the district champion coming out of District 17 full race. So I hope you can come out Friday night to Bulldog Park to see that one. Once again, the final score, Tuesday night from Spring Hill High School, the Carthage Bulldogs 2 and the Spring Hill Panthers nothing. For your Sports Beat Station, I'm Larry Allen. All right, well, hey, listen, thank you for joining us. Thank you to uh, Brenton Fenson for doing the uh, camera work again. If you've enjoyed these live streams, uh, you need to thank Brenton if you ever 
come in contact with him. He's a junior at Carthage High School because he's responsible for providing that. And uh, thanks to Josh back at the station. Good job back there, Josh. Thank you very much. So once again, the final score from Spring Hill High School on Tuesday night, the Carthage Bulldogs 2, the Spring Hill Panthers nothing. For your Sports Beat station, this is Larry Allen.